name is Lizzie Larson. Do you love bunnies? Yeah. What shirt are you wearing? I'm wearing my bunny dress. That was work. Cookie dough. Do you know what kind of bunny cookie dough is? What kind of bunny is he? He's cooking up. Now remember, you gotta be gentle. He do that. Yep. <laughs> Who's this? Kit Kat. She's really jumpy. <laughs> I wanna hold feet away. Okay, we can. Just a second. Baby in his tummy. No, he does not. <laughs> All right, Claire. Who is this? <laughs> I told her Bob was on the camera. She asked who was in the camera. Um, who are you holding? Beetle. He likes to be held like a baby. That's the only way he holds still. Mm. What does he have in his tummy? Nothing. He has food in his tummy. All right, Claire, who are you holding now? I'm holding Misty. You're holding Misty. And she should actually be pregnant right now. We should have some baby mm. bunnies, some little kits in about two weeks. You all done with Holy Misty? Okay, I'll get her because she's about to jump. Hi guys, it's the 4th of July. I was out at a parade for two hours and now I'm really sunburned. So I look probably the same color as my shirt right now. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little intro from my daughter of our bunnies. And now I'm going to explain a little bit why we have the rabbits. And I mean, we don't have a ton of property, but... I've made sure to have four rabbits because they're a good benefit and I just love animals, so that's part of the reason. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to keep her here in your sight so you can see her. She loves dandelion greens. Anyway, so I um, have these rabbits because they're very beneficial to the garden. And a lot of times we try to keep rabbits out of our garden and I do everything I can to keep wild rabbits out of our garden. But the, these rabbits are very helpful. Um, their droppings are some of the best fertilizer that you can have for your garden because, she thinks I'm over here, just a second. Hey, come on this side. Um, so their rabbit, their droppings, their manure, has four times the nutrients than other types of animal manures like cow or horse. Four times more nutrients and two times more nutrients than, than chicken manure. So their manure has um, the nitrogen, the phosphorus, and the potassium that your plants need. The three elements that your plants need to be able to grow. And like I said, it's more rich. Theirs is more rich in that. Second, there's a loud truck. Motorcycle, sorry. Anyway, it's more rich in those nutrients than any um, of the other manures. So that is one benefit. Hopefully you got to hear me there. That motorcycle is really loud. That is one benefit to the rabbits. The other thing that is awesome about it, um, their droppings are not considered hot. Cow, chicken, horse manure is considered hot, which means you cannot put it directly onto your plants or it will burn them. You have to let it sit and um, decompose and com mix with compost for a little while before you can even put it in your garden. Rabbit droppings, I can pick them up right now and put it right into my garden and it will not harm my plants. So that is another awesome benefit. You don't have to wait. You just <laughs> pick it up and take it over. Um, and so that is another benefit of, of having the rabbits and the droppings and the manure. Um, so that's the main reason why I have them. The other thing that I've heard, and I want to do some experiments on this this year, is that their urine acts as a bug deterrent. And so apparently, the, the bugs don't like the smell of their urine. And two years ago, our rabbit's little hutch, we had one rabbit, his little hutch was inside our garden. and. We didn't really have too much of a bug problem. I don't know if it was because the rabbit was in there or maybe it was more because the garden hadn't been used in a few years. So the bugs didn't know <laughs> to come to our spot yet. I don't know. So I'm gonna be doing some tests this year 
Um, sounds kind of gross, but I'm going to be collecting their urine and um, trying to spread it throughout my garden. Now, I've seen a lot of videos where, like in Africa, they actually dilute the urine with water and spray it directly on the plants. I don't know if I would want to do that. That sounds kind of gross to me. Um, but it's supposed to deter the bugs because of the smell. So if that's the case, I'm going to spray it or pour it. I'll figure out how to do that in a little while. <laughs> um, either around the garden beds, or I might put it on some of the leaves, but I don't want it on the fruit or the vegetables themselves. So I'm going to figure that out at some point. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm going to try out um, the rabbit urine as a, as a bug deterrent and see if that helps because I am, I hate those Japanese beetles. I, I don't know if it'll even help with those, but I've read that it's more, it, it helps deter more like the, the mites, um, aphids, and bugs like that. So we'll see. Uh, and I'll, I'll update you on, on what I find. So I'm going to be running a couple experiments um, in that regard. But anyway, so that's kind of the main reason why I have them for the garden. And I have the two rabbits on this side of the garden and two rabbits on the other side. But now I need to kind of spread everything and actually put it in the garden itself. Um, yeah, and besides that, they're, they're cute and fluffy. And my daughter loves playing with them. So they're great pets because they're quiet and they don't run away unless you do let them out of the cage, then they do run away. But they are great pets and um, yeah, so that's, that's just an added benefit. So I guess you could see garden fertilizer with a free pet or you could see it as a pet with free fertilizer, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, but I call them our, our circle composter. There are little composters. They eat the vegetables, they eat the leftover produce or the ends of the carrots that I'm not going to, that I cut off or whatever, I'm not going to eat. They eat them and then we put what they produce back into the garden to help the other produce. So anyway, I hope you found that informative and I am going to, um, yeah, post updates on what I find out in regards to um, just the the bug deterrent and see if it really helps. But yeah, anyway, hope you found this useful. We'll see ya.